In the heart of a quaint township, renowned far and wide for its musical lineage, there stood a domicile, humble yet brimming with melodies, the abode of Maria and her father, Michael. Maria, a sprite of eight summers, possessed an insatiable curiosity and an ardor for music that mirrored the very soul of her late mother, a minstrel whose songs once danced upon the wind. Michael, a bard in his own right, though cloaked in the sorrow of his beloved's parting, endeavored to kindle a similar flame within his progeny. As Autumn's breath began to whisper through the township, Maria approached her sire, her heart harboring a yearning to grasp the guitar, to weave melodies that could bridge the chasm between her and the mother she barely remembered. Michael, beholding his daughter's eyes alight with fervent desire, acquiesced, seeing in her plea a pathway to a communion profound. In the wake of this renaissance, Michael, with renewed vigor, envisioned a legacy that would transcend their own tale, a musical fellowship to nurture the seed of artistry in the hearts of the township's youth, in honor of his late wife's memory. Maria, now adept and spirited, joined her father in this noble quest, their lessons becoming a beacon for aspiring musicians, a sanctuary of learning and growth. On her natal day, Michael bestowed upon Maria a treasure most profound, her mother's guitar, a symbol of her journey from a fledgling musician to a maestro in her own right. Their final lesson, not as mentor and pupil but as equals, was a duet that resonated beyond the confines of their abode, a melody that encapsulated their odyssey, resilience, and the unbreakable bonds forged through the magic of music. Looking to the future, with Michael's health restored, they orchestrated a concert to celebrate the talent and unity of their community, their special song serving as the zenith of the evening, a local anthem of love, resilience, and the power of coming together. Years flowed like the melodies they once conjured, and Maria, now a beacon of musical artistry, returned to her roots, guitar in hand. On the stage that had witnessed her first stumble, she played their special song, a homage to her father, who had since departed the mortal coil, content in the knowledge of his daughter's triumphs. Their song, enduring as a symbol of their everlasting bond, continued to inspire, a melody woven into the fabric of the township, reminding all of the solace and connection found in the embrace of music. Thus, the legacy of Maria and Michael, etched in the annals of time, became a testament to the transcendent power of music and love, a tale of a bond that, once kindled, burns eternal. Their inaugural lesson, amidst the sanctuary of their abode, was a confluence of laughter and the hesitant, clumsy dance of fingers over strings. Yet, patience bore fruit, and as twilight embraced the world, Maria conjured her first complete melody, a beacon igniting within her a passion untold. As the seasons unfurled their tapestry, father and daughter delved deeper into the musical odyssey, their bond strengthening with each chord and melody explored. Their hearts synchronized, not only in rhythm but in understanding, finding solace and expression through the universal language of music. However, a shadow loomed on the horizon. Michael, the stalwart guardian of melodies, was besieged by an ailment most grave, casting a pall of uncertainty over their duet. Concerns for Maria's future, in a world possibly devoid of his guidance, nod at his heart. In an endeavor to fortify their bond against the tempests of fate, Michael began to weave tales of Maria's mother into their musicales. Each note, each harmony, became imbued with the essence of the matriarch, transcending mere sound to become a tapestry of memories and love eternal. Amidst this tempest of emotions and uncertainty, father and daughter resolved to forge a song, a magnum opus that would encapsulate the essence of their lineage, a harmonious tribute to love, loss, and the indomitable spirit of their family. Yet, destiny's capricious nature saw fit to halt their composition midway, for Michael's condition deteriorated, leaving their symphony incomplete, and Maria's heart cloaked in sorrow. Yet, from the ashes of despair, Maria's determination arose like a phoenix. Secretly, she honed her craft, her fingers dancing upon the strings with a resolve that mirrored her father's resilience. The melodies they had shared became her solace, her beacon through the tempest. The community, moved by the tales of their bond and Michael's plight, rallied as a harmonious chorus, offering succor and support. It was within this bastion of love that Maria unveiled the fruit of her secret toil, a rendition of their special song, now whole, a testament to the depths of her love and the bonds forged through music. This performance, transcending mere sound, touched the very essence of Michael's spirit, igniting a spark of hope and a miraculous resurgence from the grip of his malady. It was a testament to the healing power of music, a balm for the soul.